Welcome back. Let me share a few more nonlinear solutions to common everyday problems. How about losing weight? The linear answer is to change our eating and exercise behavior. The nonlinear answer is to remember that our beliefs about eating and exercise are the software controlling our behaviors, so why not change the software first? I promise you that if you alter your beliefs about eating and exercise, you'll upgrade your habits in those two areas. This is how our brains are wired. What about rocky relationships with friends, family, and other significant people in your life? The linear solution is to change them to think like you. Good luck. <laughs> the nonlinear solution is to abandon any attempts to change, control, or manipulate them in any way. Allow them to be who they want to be, wish them well, and send them love. Human beings are emotional creatures and are more likely to change poor behavior through self-enlightenment than they are through criticism. Criticism is linear. Sending love is nonlinear. Let's look at making more money, which is something we're all interested in. Linear thinking tells us to work harder and longer. Nonlinear thinking tells us money flows from ideas that solve problems, and the more money you wish to make, the bigger problems you have to solve. If the product or service you provide solves a problem for hundreds of people, well, you'll make a living. If it solves a problem for thousands of people, you'll make a fortune. It's basic economics. The secret is focusing your thoughts on the ideas instead of on the money. If your ideas are good, the money will follow, I promise. Here's one more for making money. Do what you love to do. Find a way to link what you love to do to making more money and you are home free, baby. Traditional linear thinking taught us to pursue careers that were profitable whether we liked them or not. One of my psychology professors in college actually talked me out of being a psychologist because he said I could never earn big money doing it. I never even asked him about the money, but his belief was that it was impossible for someone to become wealthy as a psychologist. Many of us were encouraged to major in business or some other profession we associate with high salaries. This is linear thinking at its worst and it's caused a lot of misery for people who became experts in professions they didn't enjoy because the money was good. Nonlinear thinking says there money, there's money to be made in most any field, providing you are one of the best in the business. Your race in the hole is when you love what you do and you think about it all the time, and that leads to a level of expertise very, very few people in the world ever achieve. Of course, the best benefit of it is the fun of getting paid for something you would do for free. you got to love that. My late business partner, Bill Gove, had a beautiful line about this. Bill said, listen to this. Bill said, when you're doing something you love to do, the only reward you need is the experience of doing it. I couldn't agree more. Formal education teaches us linear thinking for economic success, yet very few people become wealthy following this path. Most millionaires achieve their success by creating nonlinear solutions no one has ever thought of before. They have literally thought their way to wealth. If wealth is one of your goals, focus your mental energy on problem-solving ideas through nonlinear thinking. First, discover what you love to do. Second, find a way to get paid for it. And third, find a way to become wealthy doing it. And be sure to remember something every millionaire will tell you. Remember this, you can find a way to create wealth in any field. Money flows like water to great ideas, and you are only one big idea away, one big idea away to having more money than you can spend. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but I hope you'll consider the concept of nonlinear thinking. I promise you, it's one of the best kept secrets of the world class. Until next time, I'm your mental toughness coach, Steve Siebel. Stay tough.